What's up everybody, welcome to the greatest vlog in the world. My name is Veronke, your favorite tour guide fiance, and today we will talk about vertigo. <laughs> oh, bene. No, no, no. No, 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 You ready, babe? Nope. No? Well, she just jumps in. She says she's not ready, but it's like, let's go. Hey? Are you sure? Are you sure you're not ready? No. Did you see how much this thing shakes? It shakes Stop a little. It. <laughs> Are you scared of cable cars? A little bit? Oh, the things she does for the vlog, eh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, doors closing. Don't squeeze, don't squeeze so much. <laughs> this is actually my first time on this. Uh, in this particular cable car. So, uh, and apparently this is the scariest one in Madeira. I don't know if you guys can make out, but we're right next to the cliff. It's like super, super, super steep. And it looks like she's doing okay with the baby. She's... No. <laughs> no? Oh, come on. It's not so bad. Nah, I'm, I'm doing fine. You're doing fine. I'm doing fine. Have you, have you looked? Oh, you can see through no. the floor. No. <laughs> <laughs> you can, though. Look. No, 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 no. Stop it. You should stand up. No. You can stand up. No, 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 no. Whoa, it shakes. No, no, no. It shakes. <laughs> <laughs> but it's really crazy pretty. Lots of clouds. Very tropical, you know. I love it when Madeira is like this, like cloudy and a little bit rainy, and kind of makes it look kind of mystic, you know. You're in some jungle somewhere. So, so many people worried about the weather. Is the weather good? Is the weather bad? When is the weather going to be good? But like, even when the weather's not good, Madeira is beautiful. Oh, we made it! Yay. Wow. Okay, we gotta get out of here. I was half expecting the the plot down here to be kind of ruined, you know, and very vacant and things like that. But there's actually a lot of work going on. And everyone's got their little piece of land quite clean. So like many fajans in Madeira, uh, this is a fajan is basically like a flat piece of land next to a cliff, right? And over, I don't know how many years, like thousands or millions of years, uh, I'm not an archeologist, uh, the land, the minerals from the mountain have slowly eroded down, which makes this land highly, highly fertile. Uh, so it's very, very good for agriculture. And um, yeah, like everyone's little agricultural space is really well clean, really well maintained. And it's actually really pretty to walk through here. So kind of glad I came down here and I have been here before. Uh, in the cable car, I said I thought it was my first time down here, but it isn't. I have actually been here before, but it was a really, really long time ago before this place kind of got a little bit more famous with the Instagrammers. <laughs> We've been exploring this area now for the last hour or so and the sun has decided to grace us with her presence. So just another little uh, kind of show or demonstration of how quickly the weather can change in Madeira and how not to trust uh, the weather forecast. But that's a topic for a whole different video. We are down in a Chades de Cruz and we have just come down the steepest cable car in Europe, right? So absolutely beautiful location. It's about five euros for a there and back trip. Of course, this is in since October of 2022. This can change, um, and also 
it is quieter in the morning. So if you do want to come out here and you want to have the place to yourselves, just like we have, then you want to be here first thing in the morning. I believe they open at 10 o'clock. So yeah, I think uh, Veronica survived the cable car, at least the first of our cable cars. So you guys are just going to have to stick around and uh, see where this vlog takes us. Let's carry on this adventure. Stay tuned. Uh, this one's going to be a good one. Round number two on the Vertigo Challenge. <laughs> Shame, she's going through a lot today, aren't you? Yeah. Okay. You need a reward, don't you? Yeah, I do. <laughs> it's time. Here we go. Oh my god. We made it, eh? All in one piece. This is Garajau Beach. This is a great Nikita, one of the best I've had down in Garajau Beach. So that is where we are, Garajau Beach. Just below Christoje, uh, the Christ the Redeemer statue. There's the little cable car to get down to the beach. You don't have to take the cable car if you're scared of cable cars, you can walk down, for instance. But this is a nice place for everyone who likes a beach vibe, right? You can get into the water. This is actually a natural reserve. So there's a lot of people who do scuba diving and things like that out here. And you can, if you are uh, used to the pebble beaches, the Kelao beach, then you can very easily get in and out of this beach when it's nice and calm and have a great swim, catch some sun, have something to drink and have something to eat. We're gonna relax a little bit, finish our Nikitas um, and carry on this adventure. We have one more place to show you, so don't go away. Remember that if you're coming to Madeira on vacation and you're looking for a place to stay in Funchal, then look no further than Villa Baleira. They have awesome facilities in a perfect location and they're also offering a brand new Gota dos Telefericus, which is also known as the cable car route, which you can find online on their website or at reception. So we're gonna jump in the cable car of Garajal to go back up to go to our third and final cable car and also to get a little bit of an idea from Veronica about how this whole thing has gone down. This cable car cost us three euros there and back and is open from 10 o'clock till 8 o'clock uh, as advertised via them. So a little bit of info for you. Let's get out of here. I got some bad news for you, babe. What? You have to do this one on your own. Uh, okay. 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 Yeah, take the mic. Okay. Have fun with Andre. Andre, let's go. How are you feeling? I'm fine. Yeah, I'm okay. A bit anxious because Jeff isn't with me, but I'm fine. You have a good view, right? Yes, the best view of the day. <laughs> <laughs> How were you feeling before we started the video? Uh, I was a bit scared because of the first cable car. What was the scariest cable car of today? The first one. You saw the cruise? Yes. Why? Um, because it was the most art car one, I think. Uh, I never did it because it's too steep, so yeah. And the easiest? Uh, Garajau. Not this one? Uh, I mean, this one is easy, but Garajau is the smallest route, so yeah. It's faster then? Yeah. Would you do it again? Yes, of course I would. <laughs> and others as well? Yes, some. Do you have any advice for anyone who has vertigo like you? You should try at least one, okay? And 
You go with your family, your partner, someone you really trust and just try to have the, the cable car just for you so you can feel comfortable with your emotions and don't look down until you feel safe, just that. So this is a flyer from the cable car of Funchal. It opens at 9 and it closes at 5.45. The price is 12.50 one way, 18 two ways. Anything else you want to add, Veronica? Yes, Andre, like and subscribe to this channel, not only because you will find the best of Madeira, but we will show you some more Vertigo videos, like hiking for people with Vertigo. So stay tuned. Yay, let's hit the road now. You did it. Yay. High five. Can you? I hope you guys enjoyed our cable car adventure today and got some value out of this video. Comment down below on what you want to see on this channel, what was your favorite uh, part. And uh, again, thank you to everyone who collaborated and of course to Villa Belayda as well for supporting this vlog. Uh, that's it, I guess. Hey, Andrea, anything else? Let's hit the road. Let's hit the road.